So g'day everybody, I'm Craig Minter, the Profit Engineer from MintUD Consulting, and I'm truly excited to be on the online TV Prosperity Show today because I can't wait to drop a, a couple of gold nuggets and especially one that's really going to make sure that you're profitable from the very next deposit you receive into your bank. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the prophet engineer himself, Craig Minter. Craig, how are you doing, my man? Yeah, very good, Prosper. It's great to be here today and, um, yeah, looking forward to our chat. Absolutely. Now, you would understand, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this show, right, we're always bringing you experts within their own realm. And Craig happens to be a profit first professional and a certified accountant that knows how to engineer the profits within your business. Now, you could have started your business and or you could be halfway through maybe a three year or four year term within your business. And as we all know, starting your business is very exciting and also terrifying all at once. And um, Craig and his team at Mintz CD Consulting can actually help you, guide you through the complexities of starting a new business or growing your new business so that you can be profitable and actually enjoy working with that business. They can help you set up and implement systems that will save you time, money, and effort, and ultimately help you taking that profit uh, from the business that you've started, especially from day one. A lot of businesses do not go past the five-year mark, and it's probably because they haven't got systems or procedures that help them make profit from the get-go, and profit is king. That's the reason why we brought Craig here today. I mean, Craig, I could go on and on and seeing your accolades, seeing your praises, but you're here today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you actually got started as the uh, profit engineer. Yeah, exactly what you just talked about there, Prosper. I very much um, started in, in my consulting business um, after, you know, 16, 17 years working as a as a CPA accountant within large firms, large organisations and those sorts of things. And I went out on, on my own and decided to start up a, a consulting practice around, you know, that knowledge that I've learned in my accounting space and accounting knowledge very much around systems, processes and those types of things in my business. And, you know, the, the, the first 12 to 18 months, it was tough going. It was, you know, you get yourself started up and, you know, you're, you're bringing in the revenue you're working your backside off and you're doing all the all, all the little things, but you know, I wasn't necessarily seeing cash in my pocket um, as a result of it. But um, during that time, it was around about 12 months into the into the business that I came across um, a book called Profit First. And it was something having, you know, I've got my accounting background, I've got my CPA designation, but it was something that brought things back to a very simple way of looking at your finances uh, very much uh, a way that is based on human behavior rather than actually necessarily need to, needing to, to know the intricacies of a profit and loss report and a balance sheet. And while they're still useful and still powerful in, in their own way, many small business owners, um, you know, they're, they're not the financial type. They're, they're very good at what they do. They, they, they're very good at the technical part of their business, but the finances, the numbers, that all becomes a little bit too hard. And um, when I came across this methodology and I, I started to, to implement it in my own business, I started making profits from day one um, from implementing because it, it just it, it enforces it within what you actually do and how you do it to, to, to create the profit. And then it changes your mindset. It changes, it changes the behavioral uh, approach to looking at, at money and, and, yeah, from there it just became for me. It was well, this works hand in hand, perfect with what I was doing in the efficiency and productivity space within business. To here's a measurable result that we can have in cold hard cash that sits in people's pockets. So it was um, that was sort of my my introduction to and the path I took to to implementing profit first and also realizing the power of it to, to the point today where I basically only work with clientele who are, who are really um, committed to profitability and that process that they are actually willing to implement profit first in their business. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And thank you so much for um, elaborating on that. I mean, obviously, when people start their business, they get sold onto the dream um, only based on the fact that they are capable of doing certain skills and they think just them showing up with those kind of skills is what business is all cut out to be. Now, how, you know, I mean, obviously with time, uh, time being the most precious, uh, you know, resource, how are people uh, crippling their, you know, path to success by not implementing systems and processes and automation um, that is causing them headaches instead, uh, you know, uh, you know, by um, not uh, consulting with people like yourselves? Yeah, it's basically one of those things that obviously the, the age old saying of time is money. And it's that, that whole thing of if we're doing something that's not in our expertise and we're, we're battling through it and it's, it's as much as, you know, when I first started, I spent a lot of time, you know, I'll, I'll go in and I'll, I'll learn how to do a bit of a website build and I'll do a bit of those sorts of things. And then, you know, I take, you know, took two or three weeks to try and punch out a bit of a website. And then when I went, this is just silly doing this, I'll get somebody else to do that. So as you know, the next time I got somebody to do, you know, like, it took them two hours and it cost me other all money to be able to do it. And, um, and so building whole systems around everything. And, you know, I learned a lot from books like the, the E-Myth and Traction and those types of books as well. And again, that's stuff that I knew that I did certain aspects of that in, in my life within the large organizations doing systems and processes. Um, but then even just learning those sorts of things to take yourself out of the business a little bit. And, um, yeah. And again, coming back to the financial side of things, a lot of people, when they start in business, everybody knows that they get, they get told to, um, go and get, uh, get an accountant and everybody goes out, they get an accountant and they have this thought in their head that, the accountant's going to be all things to all people and do everything around money. But that's not always necessarily the case. It's often the fact that an accountant will focus on the, um, the, the real compliance side of accounting and they factor on that, but people don't then get the systems set up underneath all that to make their finances the best they can be, the most effective they can be, or the most efficient they can be. Um, and that's as much as, you know, whether it's doing the bookkeeping or whether it's, you know, just really understanding the, the financial reports and, and understanding of that is accountants don't often have the time to do that from a compliance perspective or the other side of it is if they do offer those services, sometimes they, they cost a little bit more because it's an hourly rate and it's an hourly charge out rate versus obviously something where what I look to do within businesses to set up some of these systems that underpin that work collaboratively with uh, with the awesome accountants and bookkeepers that are out there but really put some systems in place underneath all that that um just makes it far more simple from a human behavior perspective and not needing to um you know worry about the financial reports and those types of things Absolutely. One of the biggest things, uh, Craig, that happens when somebody starts a business is they don't pay themselves enough in either um, maybe a wage, um, maybe from the profits that they're making, maybe from the time that they're putting in and the effort and the sacrifice that they're actually making for their family within their business. How difficult is changing this pattern? Um, because people really do go into business to actually make a living for themselves. Yeah, you're so true, Prosper. It's, it's one of the hardest things in business because I think we've all been ingrained in some ways as well as, yeah, we're going to go out, we start a business and we chase the dream. But because of all many people that have gone before us, they all talk about the struggles and we've got to struggle through and we've got to get to, you know, you've got to do those hard yards and you can't pay yourself initially because there's never any money and, and those types of things. And it's, it's that thing that's just been ingrained in us in some ways. I know that was my perception and thought, and I didn't have any anybody that told me any different to that initially when I started. And so that's where, when we we come into the, the world of profitability and profit first, that's where we try to turn that on the head a little bit. And that's where we say, you know what? You should actually be paying yourself a profit and paying yourself money from day one. And it's just also setting up that habit around that. And so that is 
the the power of Robert Furkin. And funnily enough, that's the obviously it says it all in the title. Absolutely. When we take, we're going to take profit out of the business before we do anything else, and that changes the whole mindset of how you operate with with money. And so, for for all your listeners out there, basically that's the one simple tip that I will give you today that you can go away and you can start being profitable as of today. You can go out, uh, at your can go out and open up one new bank account, right? one new bank account in your business. And most businesses they operate off one big bank account, but sometimes they might have a second bank account that might be for their tax and their GST. Regardless of what you've currently got set up, go out today, open up one new bank account, call it profit. And from this day forward, you're going to transfer 1% of every little bit of revenue that you get into the business and do it on a periodic basis, say every two weeks or so. You're going to take 1% from all that revenue you're making, you're going to go and put that into this one bank account called profit. And then you're just gonna let it grow. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna do that on a fortnightly basis and you'll see this awesome little bank account start to accumulate. And you start to, and your mindset's gonna go, hey, hang on a second, this is pretty cool. I'm making profit. My mind's gonna go, I want more of that. You're gonna sort of do things to create more revenue, get more money into there and The amazing thing by that, what you've actually just done within your business is you're now running off 99% of the expenses that you've got in the business. You're now sitting there and you're going, you've actually made yourself and you're not going to notice that. You're going to be able to do that. There's very few businesses that will struggle with that 1% difference there. And then you're going to sit there and go, well, I'm now made myself a little bit more efficient. I've got a little bit creative on how am I going to run my business off this little bit of extra money um, that I've now sort of got left in that pool. And that's what I've mentioned previously. Is it's that human behaviour where you go, I, I get creative, I'm going to make this work and make this happen to go make the profit in my business. And so that's a one little key tip that you can do as of today to actually start that process. But I guess the, the, the in more in-depth uh, methodology actually talks about more bank accounts than that. So we talk about about five core bank accounts to operate our business off. And it's it's very much lending from, again, this is not a new concept by any stretch. It's, you know, if you do a bit of reading, it's the, the richest man in Babylon book or, you know, the barefoot investor on your personal finances. And it's basically what our grandmothers did back in the depression and those sorts of things where they had their envelopes and they would get income in, they would put money in to do the groceries, to go on a holiday, and they put all the money into the different little envelopes. And what we're doing here is doing the same, but doing it for business. And by doing that, you basically, the, the, the five different bank accounts you normally have is we have a bank account that is a revenue bank account. So we put all the money into there, and then we do a distribution based on certain percentages of the business across different areas. And the first one being profit, then we're also putting money aside for tax because we do need to make sure we cover off our tax amounts from be it the PAYG, corporate tax, superannuation, GST. They're all things that the government's going to come chasing you if they, um, they're going to come and get their money. So you need to make sure that you've got that aside and you've got it accounted for. Then you're going to pay yourself. So you're going to, excuse me, you're going to have an owner's pay account as well. And so this is also where that's obviously a little bit different to the profit. There's the profit in your business is for the, the you know, the, the brains, the ideas, the strategy, the, the risk that you're taking to actually open up a business. It's what all big businesses do. It's the, you know, BHPs, the Telstra's of the world. They pay profit out and that's their dividends. And so that's where the profit sits up there for that type of thing. But then you also need to pay yourself a wage for, you know, you're working in the business. You're working the day to day. How much do you get for that? Well, you should be getting a certain percentage of that. Um, And then the final account is an operating expense bank account, which is, you know, the the chunk of money there that you need to operate your business off. And uh, and that's where we get creative. We try to make it happen. And, you know, it may be a challenge at times and it may be a struggle. But the idea behind that as well is that if you can't consistently operate off that money that's sitting in that, operating expenditure bank account, then do you have a sustainable business? That's where you may need to start to question that. And 
you know, and what I talk about with people and clients and, and potential clients in the life is the reality is I'd far prefer to know whether, whether I've got a sustainable business now or 10 years de- or rather than 10 years down the track when I've struggled through all this, I've made no money and I've just had all this stress when uh, the business probably wasn't sustainable in the longer term anyway. And so that's the, the very quick five-minute version of Profit First sort of in a nutshell to make sure that you do put that money aside for profit, for the brains, of all this stuff and the risk that you're taking on, but also that you pay yourself an appropriate amount of money based on the revenue that you're bringing into the business. Absolutely. And I really, really appreciate how you brought it all together and saying that this is not anything new because some people would have been like, oh, I need it verified or I don't think that's how my business would have run or it's not going to work within my business. Because I think you mentioned the richest man in Babylon. He actually talks of the 10 percent, even if it's on a personal um, you know, outlay, the barefoot investor talks about the little buckets of money and, um, you know, things like that. So obviously this is not rocket science. It's just things that you really need to just change your mindset. Like you've just been uh, alluding to right from the start there. Now, Craig, obviously all of this, we're humans and we, we creatures of habit, you know, um, we're going to need somebody to help us keep on track with this. And once you've got a profit plan in place, you know, um, is there anything that you do to help people achieve their, their, their profit strategies or do you have any sort of accountability or periodic check-ins? Because, yes, I can do this this month, but, you know, what happens to the next month's, uh, you know, preceding that? We are people, you know, and Christmas comes in and gifts, <laughs> gifts, gifts need to be sorted out. And before we know it, we're tapping into our profit account and, yeah, we're starting from scratch at the beginning of the year as if we're on day one you know so what what does um your your business or your team do to help people keep their profit on track yeah exactly prosper you're you're so true there, there's so many things that come into come into play um with us being the, the human beings we are and it's and it's what we you alluded to before as well around the, the systems in the like and and, and having the right people doing the right sort of things so obviously yeah profit first is a is a simple methodology as such, but it's obviously not necessary. Sometimes it's challenging to implement because everybody starts from a different position and a different level of understanding and financial knowledge and, and the like. And so basically where, where we come in is to be able to help streamline that process for people because it's, it's a process where um, there is some financial analysis involved in the initial stages uh, understanding where you currently are you know how much money do you currently have sort of set aside or allocated or how much profit are you making how much tax are you currently paying how much are you paying yourself how much are you operating the business off and to get that information and get that knowledge it does mean delving into the financial reports the profit and loss and the balance sheet and cash flow statements and some of those sorts of things. And so that's where my 20 odd years of background in accounting is. I can do that a lot quicker and far more um, straightforward than many business owners can. Um, And it's basically making that whole process a whole lot simpler. Um, and And it's being able to say, well, Here's where we currently are, and that's where I sort of implement a little bit of a, a, a permanent profits blueprint with my clients, and that's that that component of sitting there saying, well, where are you currently now? Where do you want to get to? What's your targets? What's your goals with your business overall? What's the finances that underpin all that? So therefore, you know, how much money do you want to put in your pocket from your business? What's the goal? Okay, well, that's how much revenue. Uh, sorry, how much money you want to put in your pocket? If we reverse engineer that then here's the revenue that you actually need to be hitting to actually achieve that. Okay, that's where we are now. Under a profit first methodology, here's where a business of your size type stage should be sort of sitting. And then we're wrapping the road mapping a plan out to go from where you're currently at up to what successful businesses do in that space. And and really being with people um, for that journey, however long they need need us to be a part of that journey but it's usually a, a bit of an intensive first three or four months sort of uh, and that's how we've got some packages based around that an intensive process to get it sort of up and running get the right bank account set up give the tools give some calculators to be able to get it implemented and then it's being able to be there 
every step of the way, being on the phone, doing accountability things, and again, being able to get to the to the end of a, of a quarter and saying, you know, you're going to celebrate on some money because we've got some profit there. We get to pay down some debt. We make sure you do, go and do a celebration. And now are we in a position to go to the next level? Can we go to the next level? And uh, it's something that I, I say to, to many people is, yeah, people can go away and read the book and they can implement it and 30 bucks can change your business. And I, I know somebody um, that was exactly in that space uh, when I uh, said to this networking connection that, you know, I was becoming a profit first professional. She was like, wow, Craig, I thought about doing that. That book changed my life. We were in all sorts of problems with the tax office and those sorts of things. And we'd sat there and they read the book and they implemented. They went off and they implemented on their own and they said it saved them from the tax office. And But then she said to me, she said, but I know we could be doing it better and I know we could be getting more and we could be getting more profit out of business. And she's like, let's start working together. So I'm now working with uh, that business owner to be able to refine what they're doing, update, get it uh, more efficient, more um, aligned with how they're actually operating their business and, and being able to do that. And that's coming from somebody who, who's implemented off the book and to be able to fine tune and tweak um, what, what they do. Um, on the other hand, it's the people that sit there and go, you know, some people don't even read the whole book. They get the idea, they get the mindset, they go, that sounds brilliant. I don't want to have to look at my financial reports and I don't want to do all that stuff. I want to actually just get it done. Let's just go and do it. And, you know, I'm working with some people there that, you know, about nine or 10 months now and it was only the other day that, that, that this lady said, I've just increased my pay, earnings pay by 20%. And I'm like, holy mackerel, like that's, that's pretty damn good. And it's not what every business can expect, but she's been managed to be able to do that where she's increased her owner's pay by 20% and she was doing all right previously, but managed to, to get that extra amount. But, and she says, but even better than that is, I just know that the back is gonna come around and I've got money sitting there. There's this nice little lump sum sitting there ready to go because we've been putting it aside, we're managing the, the rest of the money fine and okay. It's just the peace of mind, just knowing that other things are set off, which is actually even that for her is more powerful than the 20% extra cash. She's not going to give that back, but by any stretch, but she's sitting there going, I just know that there's money there to pay the tax when it's due. Absolutely. That's a really good, um, you know, position to be, you know, when you know everything is in place like that. Now, obviously, a lot of people that are watching this show right now, Craig, really want to get their roadmap to profitability and actually start paying themselves more as the owner of their own uh, business. Um, how best can people get a hold of you so that they can, you know, get to learn from you? I see you've got online courses and a few accountability and, um, you know, pro programs that you have that people can uh, tap into. Yeah, definitely. There, there's obviously a couple of the avenues is obviously heading to, to the website, Mint cdconsulting.com.au that gives a little bit more information that we've talked about here from that website you can grab a couple of uh chapters from the proper first book if people are interested in there or there's also plenty of uh, different options there to be able to jump in and jump on a on a phone call with me um just to have a have an initial chat um and all that sort of stuff is as i've talked about here on the call for me it's the way that we work with people is very much just to get an understanding of the business, where you're headed, what you want to do and what your current challenges are and see if the cash flow sort of methodology and the profitability stuff that we look at, if that can help with that, then um, then that's what we're all about. So there, that's obviously the uh, probably the easiest place is to, to find me, um, but also on um, Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, more than happy to connect in, in those places there. There's a Min CD Consulting Facebook page as well. And off the back of that, we've got a, a fairly recent group, um, private group that we've just started called the, the Profit Project, which again, will have a lot of content, educational content around profitability um, and a lot of profit first FAQs and those sorts of things where we just educate people on, you know, being able to 
to, to learn more around profitability and the like. So there are a couple of other places that people can um, jump into. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, thank you so much for that, Craig. Now, if you're a business owner that is actually dreaming to grow your business, but you actually feel bogged down with administration and paperwork and you don't even know where your next uh, you know, uh, profits are going to be coming from and all of that is taking away you know, your time that you should really be doing the things that you absolutely love. Because if you're not, um, you know, uh, if your business is not working without you and you're not creating a profit, then you just got a glory fight business. Now, can you just imagine a world where systems, processes, and automation actually take away all of these headaches and a world where you can actually spend your time engaging with your audience and creating a uh, new business. This is what we've just been talking about with Craig. And it is a world that actually exists if only you take your time, um, you know, to check out Craig Minter at um, Mint CD uh, Consulting. Now, Craig, I can't thank you enough for the time and the value that you dropped on this show today, especially that little nugget that you dropped about the 1%. A lot of people are actually going to implement that and they would absolutely notice a difference. Um, you know, in, in their livelihood and just the fact that they're actually making some money because when everything is all, um, you know, together, they, they might just feel like, you know, they're not moving the needle at, at least. So what you've just done is help them get out of the frame so they can actually see the bigger picture. Craig, I can't thank you enough for your time today. No, thank you, Prosper. Uh, it's great to be on the call and having a good chat with, with yourself. And it's awesome to see people out there doing doing great things themselves to be able to help educate, uh, help, help educate the community because ultimately we all just want to make sure that, like you've been saying all along, people have got the dream, they've got the, that they want to do things to be able to help facilitate that and help educate people along the way. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be a part of this today and I'm wishing you all the best with, um, with, with your program and the education and stuff that you do as well. Absolutely. And thank you for making us realize that everything is possible and the solution is actually simpler than what we actually thought. Thank you, Craig. No worries.